helps explain what we're seeing in the marketplace right now. Now, and, and we've seen a number of major acquirers go out there in the, in the yard sale and, and acquire uh, Oracle, Riverbed, Atiza, SAP, MC, Quest Software. All of these folks did scrap purchases over the past 12 months. Now, the question in all your minds probably is, did AO companies participate in the big fire sale? Were they out there with, with price tags on them? Um, not so much. We're going to see that in a few minutes, um, which is a very interesting uh, phenomenon. Remember, it was uh, probably just a couple months after last year's AO conference when Sequoia issued its fav you know, famous PDF or its famous uh, PowerPoint presentation to its uh, portfolio firms. This was famously called the Slides of Doom, 56 slides chronicling the uh, horrible litany of, of economic news and exhorting companies to, to focus on what's core to them and cut, 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 cut anything that's extraneous and preserve cash and avoid exits in this unfriendly climate. And that, so that sets the stage, I think, to some extent, for our discussion of where we see always on company exits. It seems like somebody might have listened. So here's what we see now when we get into the, the pool of AO uh, 250 companies and their exits in the marketplace. Uh, another total falling off the cliff. In um, the, number of, the number of exits fell to half what it was in the early period. Uh, despite the, the fact that the whole pool of companies is actually growing. And the spend decline was even more dramatic. We saw initially the spending decline was less than 1% of what it was in the prior 12 month period. But then uh, just last week, Amazon did us the favor of acquiring Zappos and, uh, and bumping that up to now, where we're now 15% of total spending. And Zappos was an was a AO nominated company, uh, AO listed company. Uh, so uh, we were looking at some, some fairly uh, fairly low numbers this year. Um, and num some of the notable transactions, HP bought uh, a string of deals in this sector, bought a company called Calubris Networks for uh, what we estimate to be $90 million. We do proprietary estimates here of these, uh, including earnouts, which uh, was a nice multiple of about three times revenues. Again, our estimate there on the trailing revenues. With a, with a fair bit of VC money in that in that transaction, Secure Computing acquired Securify, another company on the AO uh, list in September. Uh, in January, CA acquired Kestria, a network security firm. Again, uh, by our, an estimate, thirty million dollars, about one point four times trailing revenue. Not terrible, but uh, there's something in that deal that we always look for, which was competing acquirers, which. We'll see in a minute, can, can really add, uh, obviously, to the deal value of companies. Competition is a great thing. And uh, Microsoft and, uh, and uh, Symantec also looked at the company, but Symantec again opted for Vontu in this case, which was pretty much in the same, in the same ballpark. And of course, then the latest exit, uh, Zappos, was about 1.3 times trailing revenue for a, a retail online retail company. That's not, not a bad multiple. So what happened to the AO companies? these numbers. Well, what we, we've had talked a little bit about this, Tony. Do you have any, any thoughts on uh, what you think happened out there? And we've talked back they're, here. They're holding this. out for bigger uh, valuations. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's the only... Either that or we're coming crappy at picking. But. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's one of the only explanations that makes sense, is that um, they listen to the good advice they got from their advisors, their, their VCs, their boards, and kept the powder dry cut costs and manage to weather through to where we are now. And what does that mean? You know, are we in, in a much more positive environment right now? We're going to talk about that in a couple of minutes. The question comes up as we look back over the history of AO of those 114 acquisitions, who is doing the acquisitions? And I'm going to speed through these pretty quickly because it's uh, pretty straightforward information. As you can see, public companies account for about 80% of all AO company exits, uh, about 90% of the total spending, 80% of total individual deals of 90% of total spending. And about Fortune 500 companies about a quarter of all deals and about 30% of all spending. When we look at the serial acquirers of AO companies, and by serial we mean anyone who's acquired two or more AO companies over the course of, of, of history, we see um, some familiar names and we see many of these executives from these firms uh, walking around the halls of, of the Always On Conference. Microsoft with suitcases full of cash. <laughs> Sometimes with suitcases full of cash. Um, you know, 
Microsoft's held its, its place in the, in the top, and the rankings didn't change too much, although two new acquirers joined the, uh, joined the, uh, the list this year, which was Apia and uh, CA, and previously mentioned the Orchestra deal. In many cases, these deals were significant in terms of total deal value. You see the median was about 435 million, the average about 271 million. Uh, the average thrown up a little bit by a couple of blockbuster deals we've had.